Comedian Jeff Caldwell has appeared multiple times on Letterman, Craig Ferguson, Comedy Central, and Jeff Caldwell, it is a pleasure to have you in our studio. Nice to see you, Bob. Thanks for having me. Welcome to Seattle. Ah, it's nice. I got the coffee. I'm doing the whole experience. So, and, and, you, and is it true you only got two hours sleep? That is correct. You dragged yourself here. I sure did. Well, thank you. Well, it's my pleasure. Auburn thanks you. The mayor, the uh, oh, I'll be, dog catcher is I'll online. Be completely <laughs> zombified by Showtime. So I'm sure. sorry, Auburn. Um, okay. So now uh, let's find out a little bit about you. First, you've done a lot. You've been on the Letterman show a bunch of times. Um, is, uh, it, do you uh, do you know Dave? Do you get along with him? He's, he, he he seems like a little weird sometimes. He's to guess. a little distant. He he comes over, pats you on the back, shakes your hand. He's very nice, and then. He's gone. You, no one can be on the same staircase with him as he leaves. I, maybe it was that lady that surreptitiously yeah. moved into his and house. The, and the bear. That, that might make him... Yeah. The, the bear is a bear well, turn, No, it turns out the bear was that same woman in a bear suit. Uh, it's really yeah. scary. So, um, yeah, he's a little uh, distant. But, you know, it's fun to... Paul asks you what song you want and... Uh, Biff is the guy. You know, Biff's an idiot in every sketch, but he's the guy running the show. So, okay. uh, yeah, he actually kind of knows what Eddie he's Eddie Brill, you probably I talk know to him. Yeah. Good man, yeah. He's the, the link between the comedy and Letterman. He works you out before the show, makes sure the jokes are tuned up nicely. And, uh, yeah. So tell us, tell us a little bit. We're just and, meeting. And uh, Alan Coulter is uh, as weird as he seems. He is really whack. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> funny. Tell us a little about you. We're just meeting you. Uh, what kind of a guy are you? like sports? I do. I, I've been following this so uh, Sonics saga. And uh, is, it, is the issue not building a new arena? Is it that old thing? It's, it's about that. It's about city money for billionaires. Everywhere I go, yeah. they're building new stadiums, millions of tax dollars. They say, don't worry, the jobs and the money it'll bring. You know, in the way that Yankee Stadium made the South Bronx such an economic miracle. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only had 85 years to work. You've got to right. give it a you chance. Give it a little chance, yeah. 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 No, you can't <laughs> promise those kind of results right away. Hey, you know what? Cities need popcorn vendors. They need those jobs. Right. Kind of a pretzel-based economy. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I like the sports. Uh, baseball, I'm glad they've cracked down on the steroids. And amphetamines. Good. Something to make baseball slower. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cup of coffee from golf. Maybe we should uh, get the players' amphetamines and issue them to the fans at the uh, seventh inning stretch, mm -hmm. possibly. But uh, I hope the Sonics don't go. The basketball is exciting. There was the, we're still settling the lawsuits from the big NBA riot a couple of years ago. So oh, that's, oh, in Detroit, right? Some guy said, I'm going to throw a beer on a giant athlete because I'm protected by this painted out-of-bounds stripe. <laughs> <laughs> no way he can get me in row nine. Right. Well, he was mistaken. <laughs> Some of the fans run right down on the court to get their beatings. I am sorry. Uh, At yeah. those ticket prices, you come get me in 308. How about that? Yeah. Ron Artest will get a nosebleed one way or the other. <laughs> You're the athlete here, not me. That's right. <laughs> In, in New York, we had the kid in Yankee Stadium jump out of the upper deck into the netting behind home plate. I kidding. think we've all thought about moving down to the better seats. But, uh, <laughs> hard to get a beer delivered out there. So. You said Yankee Stadium a bunch of times, but you go there, don't you? I've been a couple times. Yeah. Uh, I'm more of a National League guy. so I grew up in San Diego, so I'm a Padre guy. Oh, Padres, is, okay. Wow, really. Kind yeah. Of, you know, they're in builds, town this week. Builds weekend. character, I know. I'm going to actually, have, I'll be gone by Well, then. if you're a National League guy in New York, it definitely builds character. Yeah. Uh, Padres, how have they done? Have they, have they We've been a... in contention the last couple last of years. years, but this year's this been This year, rough. real bad. You must be happy about our Mariners, since you don't live here. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, well, I saw they won yesterday, so... Finally. Uh, I yeah. think uh, I bring, you know, good luck wherever I go. You're a race, aren't you? Auburn. <laughs> Auburn. Note that, Auburn. I'm a, I'm a good luck charm. Now, you mentioned that you when you came in, you were very nice. You said you've actually been listening to the show for a few hours. I, I've been, uh, you know, I had to find a parking spot, figure out how to do the little tag that you stick on the window there. I negotiated that. This, is this the only city in America that has those? I've never seen the, the stick on the swipe your credit card and stick the, uh, yeah. stick the tag for parking on I, your window. I, and I was so tired, I'm just trying to figure, okay, this sticks on the inside. It, it was like a puzzle. I'm like doing a Sudoku here. I, <laughs> I don't understand, but I got it together. Right. I, I'm relatively confident the car will still be there when I get back. It'll be there. You'll know if you got it right by <laughs> if there's a ticket on yeah. the windshield or not. What's it going to run me if it is? What's the local ticket? 30 some, 35, oh, I think. Oh, come on, man. All right. And that's if you put it on the wrong window. You yeah. can pay for it, pay the right amount of money if it's not on the right window of your car. Mm. Making If you make a, a parking attendant look more than three feet from her little fat-ass seat in that little... <laughs> 
I think we're gonna... I think we're touching a nerve yeah. here. Yeah. I think we I also think I don't <laughs> think he's in the garage. <laughs> I'm in so the garage. You know. <laughs> uh, so, but you were listening to the show. You yes. had some questions about a few things. You wanted to talk about our radiothon. Did you hear about our oh, trip to Africa? Well, I heard you talking about that, and it's really true. Just about how we're just inundated with stuff here, and we don't always realize just how great a life we have. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, the medicines, uh, the advertisements are constant. You know. That sleeping pill where the mm -hmm. glowing green butterfly comes oh, into yeah, your room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, now I need an anxiety pill. <laughs> Get it off me. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm not sleepy at all. I took pill. I just got my butterflies under control. <laughs> I like the people in the ad for the herpes medicine. They always seem to be kayaking. I noticed that. I'm not an epidemiologist, but maybe we ought to take a look at these rental kayaks. <laughs> <laughs> I think I found the vector. <laughs> Gotta spray them down like we do bowling shoes. We, we can beat this thing. <laughs> Great medicines. My wife's birth control pills also prevent acne. Coincidentally, when I was a teenager, acne was my form of birth control. <laughs> Dependable, you dependable, betcha. you betcha. Yeah, yeah. at hundred percent of We are, we are, we are, we're blessed with all kinds of things that, in reality, sometimes when we look at them, maybe we'd be better off without. Like uh, too much food, probably. Too much food. Yeah. Very hard to stay fit in America, right? You said it's hard for you, especially as a comic on the road. But you have kind of a you have a build of a guy who well, lifts weights. I think if I just would stop with the pizzas and such it, you know those pizza people are working against the cheese and the crust yeah free brownies that was an aggressive move now they'd like us to dip it in some ranch dressing too right yeah your pizza gets so dry <laughs> <laughs> hey, flavorless two, hey, two slices i got gout that's a little rich mm. i'm not a doctor but that's too many lipids right there what were you before you were a comedian i was a civil engineer Come um, on. Yeah. Like, right. it's desk, well, not desk job, but a, well, a, a, a government job? No, this was a small private, first job, uh, uh, well, the, when, you're, when your third bridge falls down, they begin oh, to talk. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's a fair amount of water cooler chatter at that point. Uh, so bridges, roads, that kind of thing, you design uh, that stuff? First job was designing sewage pump stations so I could calculate how many gallons of water it takes to flush a young man's dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Eight, I think it was. I worked in an oil refinery in their hazardous waste section. Come on. I had a good dental plan, paid for the teeth I began sprouting out of my forearm. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been a couple of problems over there. But I just didn't have the computer chops, really. I'm still not good. I had to call the tech support guy, get a little help. He starts asking me questions. What, what kind of operating system have you got there? Oh, um, electricity, I think. <laughs> I've, I've been plugging in my wall, having some luck with that. I don't know. I called you, remember? I just want to know why the printer sucks in 40 sheets at a time. That kind of cuts your efficiency. I'm the son of a civil engineer, and I think one reason you might have washed out, too, is you have a sense of humor. I mean, hanging around my dad and his civil engineer friends... Uh, you know, uh, uh, they can have a serious discussion about the thickness of asphalt or something <laughs> like that, but there's not usually a lot of joking going on. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't keep up with the asphalt thickness chatter. I, uh... Now you've got uh, Letterman, Ferguson, Comedy Central. I don't, uh, Keith Olbermann, Dennis Miller. I don't see Jay Leno here, but didn't you share a stage with I Jay? Just you didn't with do him. the Tonight Show yet. No, I haven't. Uh, do they? Do they? Are you on a because you're on Letterman a couple times? Do yeah. they? I get the feeling there's still a little friction there. I, Between those two. And I, you know, I have such a good relationship with the Letterman Show, I don't even want to rock the boat. But I did work with Jay at a club in Hermosa Beach, California. And I'd, I'd always heard he's the dynamite club comedian, and he really was. It was impressive. It was just great jokes, quantities, just bam, bam, bam. A little more attitude than you get on The Tonight Show, a little mm -hmm. edge. Really well done. It was inspiring. Neat. Yeah. Have you read Steve Martin's book? Yes. Every comedian does. Yeah, it's funny. Uh... The book on tape version, when he's talking about his family, it's very monotone and low energy. Then he gets to performing, and it's very vibrant. <laughs> like his life, yeah. Makes sense, yeah. Wow. <laughs> See where the, where the pain came yeah. from. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Jeff, uh, I know you got to go. You're in Auburn. Ten when is this? Tonight. 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 It's yeah. tonight. It's How tonight. do people get tickets? Uh, that is a very good question. All right, well, who cares? Well, we're not going to mention we'll, that. We'll Auburn it. Avenue <laughs> Theater. Call well, them up. Actually, it's on our website, bobrivers.com. Oh, thank you, Bob. And uh, we'll cover all of that if you have information uh, that you'd like about anything on the show. Go there 24-7. Jeff Caldwell, very nice to make your acquaintance. Thank you, guys.